The COVID-19 pandemic triggered the evolution of next-generation vaccine technologies. Current COVID-19 vaccines are hampered by virus mutations, the speed at which such vaccines can be produced and distributed, storage requirements, and administration. Oravax Medical has developed an oral triple antigen vaccine for COVID-19 that could overcome these challenges. The SARS-CoV-2 virus, which causes COVID-19, has four structural components, the spike protein, a nucleoprotein, the membrane protein, and the envelope protein. Since the SARS-CoV-2 virus uses its spike protein to bind with the ACE2 receptor, any antibodies generated against the receptor binding domain of the spike protein will make the virus ineffective. This is why most COVID-19 vaccine candidates only target the spike protein. The challenge, however, is that the spike protein is known to mutate. With said mutation, current vaccines could lose their protection. Oravax's vaccine candidate is a virus-like particle, VLP, that targets not one, but three structural proteins, spike, membrane, and envelope. Since membrane and envelope proteins are not known to mutate, this should serve as an improved candidate for protection of SARS-CoV-2. The Oravax technology integrates a novel approach to vaccines from Primus Biotech based on its Decrypt technology with an oral delivery platform from Oramed Pharmaceuticals based on its proprietary protein oral delivery, POD delivery technology. Oravax's VLP vaccine candidate is encapsulated and formulated to protect the vaccine via a highly protective capsule coating that remains intact in the most acidic segments of the GI, along with specialized protease inhibitors, which enables the vaccine's oral delivery. An oral COVID-19 vaccine should eliminate the major barriers to rapid, wide-scale distribution, potentially even enabling people to take the vaccine at home. The oral administration is also expected to improve vaccine efficacy and reduce the burden on the healthcare system. In an in vivo study, Oravax's oral vaccine candidate triggered an immune response, promoting systemic immunity through immunoglobulin G and immunoglobulin A. Results from human trials are expected soon.